Hey guys, it's Charlie. Welcome back to another tutorial. Yes, I'm bringing tutorials back and we're starting the week off strong. I'm showing you my advanced compositing techniques that I use on all of my merch designs. And to demonstrate this today, we're taking these cherries and turning them into this crazy concept. With these skills, I'm helping you unlock your creative ability and eliminate the need for things like AI. There's something about the human touch that AI cannot even replicate. When you're creating a composition from start to finish, everything from picking the assets out online to combining them with various techniques that I'm showing you today, you create something truly special. If you're ready to level up your design game, let's begin. I'm starting off with my assets, which are these cherries and these skulls. Now I did actually find these skulls on Envato Elements on their 3D section, and I'm just importing them into my document with my cherries. Now it's time to drag all of our assets into one document, which I've already done. And my main skull here is on the left. And what I need to do is scale it up. So Command T, rotate it. And you can even lower the opacity of that layer so you can kind of see where it's sitting relative to the cherry. Now we have two cherries here, so we will need to do this again for the other side. And I have two different skull assets for that. So as you can see, it looks like it's, you know, blending pretty nicely already. So we can try it with the other skull, drag that into the document and do the same exact process. Command T to scale up or down and lower the opacity to place it on the cherry to make sure it actually looks natural. That's the whole goal of compositing is to make things look real and believable. Here's a really cool trick to match any color fast. Go ahead and add a new group to your layers and name this whatever you want. It doesn't matter, but I name it color correction. Now let's add a new layer to this group and we're gonna actually fill it with 50% gray. So press shift backspace or delete and choose 50% gray from the contents. Press okay and now let's change the blend mode of this layer to luminosity. Let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and raise the saturation to 100%. Now we can see the color differences and this is going to allow us to match colors that much easier. Now let's convert each layer to a smart object. You can do this by selecting the layer, right clicking and converting to smart object. This will allow you to stack different adjustment layers without working destructively so we can make changes if we need to. Starting with the skull, let's head up to image adjustments and select color balance. With color balance, we can adjust the different color shifts between cyan, magenta, and yellow for the shadows, midtones, and highlights, which allows us to closely match the colors to the cherry. You can use this trick on any photo to match them perfectly and it works 99.9% .9 of the time. And remember, since this is a smart object, we can adjust the color balance as needed on the go. And if we turn off the color correction group, we can see our results in real time. Another fun trick is if you make the image black and white by adding a black and white adjustment layer, you can actually match the brightness of the images as well, which we'll do later. At this point, we're going to use a soft round brush and a layer mask to paint away the areas that we do not want to keep and we want to blend in with the cherry. Select a soft round brush and make sure you lower the fill to anywhere from 20 to like 35% and this will give you a nice soft blend. By painting with black, we can delete and by painting with white, we can add, but make sure you are selecting the layer mask or else this is not going to work. That's the power of Photoshop. It allows us to work non-destructively with masks and think of this like a Halloween costume when you're wearing a mask, you're covering your face. That's exactly what we're doing right here. We're just masking out the areas that we want to hide. When you're working with layer masks and a soft round brush with a low flow like we have here, you can see that the jawbone, for example, isn't completely gone. So sometimes I'll make a selection where I want to delete and I'll press uh, shift backspace and fill it with black to actually delete it. And this just reassures me that I'm actually getting rid of that area and it just cleans up the image and makes my entire life easier when I'm adding all of my image processing effects later on. At this point, our cherry and skull is starting to blend, which is great, but we need to do the same thing to the other side. Our skull and our cherries have different exposure, which is an issue, but we can correct that later on. Let's first rinse and repeat for the other skull on the right side. stack another hue and saturation adjustment layer and play with the hue shift of the tones, which, you know, will help match the cherry to the skull or the skull to the cherry, I should say. And you can even play with the lightness, but this isn't always the best way. Sometimes it does work. Sometimes it doesn't. 
I definitely recommend adding a black and white adjustment layer above everything before playing with the exposures because that's the only way to really tell if the exposure is correct on both assets. So let's add a black and white adjustment layer. And as you can see, the exposure is different. You can see on the left skull, for example, that it's brighter than the left cherry. So that gives us an opportunity to correct that. Now we can even honestly use a curve adjustment. As you can see, it allows us to really play with the shadows, midtones, and highlights in a way that just gives us much more fine controls. On the curve, you will wanna add three points for the shadows, midtones, and highlights, and you can see the results in real time, which is what is really great about the black and white layer. Make sure you're going back to your hue and saturation layers to play with the saturation. As you can see, the skulls are way too saturated, so I can bring that down with that hue and saturation adjustment layer. Be cautious of where your light source is coming from. For example, on the skulls, you can see that the light is actually hitting on the left side, which is great because it matches the cherry, but we also have some highlights on the right. Not all assets are going to blend perfect. Sometimes they require a lot more work and you might have to make artificial lights on your different assets to make them match and that's okay. For this case though, it worked because I'm blending the skull with the cherries and it's already like kind of showing those highlights because we're using the highlights of the cherries, but it's not always this easy is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes it requires more work I just got really lucky with the assets that I picked. These are the exact compositing techniques that I use on my merch designs to take a composition like this and turn it into a merch design like this. If that excited you, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next tutorial and also smash that like button so I know that you like the video and leave a comment so I can say hi back. I'll see you guys in the next one.